on Five Tonight. A Green Bay organization dedicated to providing affordable rides to seniors is having to turn away folks because volunteers have dropped out. COVID has dealt a savage blow to curative connections, but for the drivers who remain, the reward far outweighs any perceived risk. I was looking to give something back to the community. For six years, Robin Last has been that steady hand behind the wheel, getting those who can't get around by themselves to vital doctor's appointments or shopping. The clients really are so appreciative and grateful for what you're doing, and it just makes you feel good. Even after COVID hit, Robin didn't hesitate to get behind the wheel. <laughs> you feel for these people that they can't get around any other way than through that chair and they're confined to the chair. Okay, Flo, get you in here. And they really enjoy the ride. It's kind of almost like the highlight of their day to get in here and just see some of the country. Suddenly, the volunteers weren't coming back. At one point, Curative Connections had 83 volunteer drivers. Now they're just down to about two dozen. We're able to provide about half of the rides that we used to provide prior to COVID. We do put people on a waiting list and sometimes we do get cancellations and we will fill those spots in as we can, but it is hard when especially the need continues to grow. People are a little bit gun shy about doing this, but I can tell you I feel safer in this vehicle than I do in my own vehicle because it's so sanitary and clean and uh, we wipe down everything constantly. I can vouch for that. I was riding along with Robin today. You do not have to be a driver by trade. Curative Connections provides full training. Robin is actually an accountant. He says you can set your own hours. It gets you outside. You can see the cities and towns. But most importantly, he knows he's making life better for the most fragile in our community.